What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. This one is one that uh, we all want to see, but the price is up there. I think this is the most expensive watch I've ever featured on the channel. And uh, this one is definitely unique. So after the intro, we'll get right into it. Perlay Turbine. This is the outer box. Then we've got a super cool inner box. Now, you know packaging doesn't matter. I hear it all the time. I like packaging. Packaging matters to me. It's not a deal breaker by no means, but I like cool packaging. And this one's got it. So, the box is pretty dope. It feels like steel, maybe aluminum. And then we've got the watch inside. You'll see here on the actual box, you've got that nice faux leather, maybe real leather with the Paralay logo. And then it says 1777. This is the turbine camouflage. And I'm gonna hit you right in the pocket right from the get go because this watch was loaned to me by RMG Luxury and I do not own this watch and the price tag is way above my price range. Price tag on this is $47.80 on the Parallel site. $47.80. Now, you, we can ask, is this cost justified? Just to let you know, in-house movements are no joke. It takes a lot of work to create an in-house movement, to have it to, you know, run at a good standard time and uh, keep time within, you know, five seconds a day or something like that. And uh, most brands don't do it. They use Salida, they use Eta, they use Seiko because it is that difficult to make your own in-house movement. Well, this has one. This has the caliber P. 331 with the 42 hour power reserve 25 joule 28,800 4 hertz movement and that case back holy mackerel that's beautiful look at that rotor and just the amount of detail work that went into that don't worry I'll provide pictures at the end to show you closer because this case back is just gorgeous I mean I don't even think the camera can do it justice in person. It looks great. The whole detail work, that rotor itself is just gorgeous. Just looks good. Obviously, this is against your wrist. But if you're looking for something special with an in-house movement, well, this watch has that. Now, it is a push-pull crown. It is a fixed bezel. It does, of course, have sapphire crystal. It does have this very cool turbine feature which looks pretty dope. Now, obviously, that's just like a little weight on one side to get it to oscillate like that back and forth. You have the Parallel logo on the actual crystal. And then you've got that camouflage in the background of the, the dial with a turbine over it. Red second hand, very sharp, pointy hour and minute hand. And then you've got Arabic numerals 12, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Swiss made at the 6 o'clock. You've got the Parallel logo on the rubber strap done in camouflage on both sides. And then you've got the Parallel logo also on the buckle. A super cool watch. I have not worn it yet. I will wear it very soon but uh i just wanted to show the big time gang this maybe i'll do a second video um of just after i worn it um i'm kind of scared to handle it because it's, it's an expensive watch five grand for a watch i've never came even nowhere close to that 
And so uh, very thankful to RMG Luxury for letting me review it. But uh, this is a watch that I definitely uh, could not afford, for sure. So this is limited edition. This one's actually number 94 out of 100. 44 millimeter case diameter, 13.3 millimeters thick. Very unique case design. And you've got the matte finish on the lower and you've got high polished on the upper part on the case side. And then the actual bezel itself is also brushed. So very cool. Beveled edges are, are high polished. And then the brushing on the top of the lug and the side of the lug. Um, 54 millimeter lug to lug, not counting the strap. And then we've got a 26 millimeter strap that tapers down to 24. So just a very slight gradual taper that you really can't even notice. Five atmospheres of water resistancy. It is a push pull crown. And then this weighs in just as is at 121 grams. So let's get it on the wrist. There it is on my wrist. I have an eight inch wrist. Got about two, three holes left. Forty-four millimeters, like my perfect size watch for my wrist, for the way I like the watch to look. So this fits that bill perfectly. It feels quality. It feels solid. It definitely feels, you know, above some of the stuff I've handled in the past. Um, I don't really know what five grand feels like, but uh, this watch definitely feels luxury. The strap is nice and thick at twenty-four millimeters down here at the buckle. I love that. I like the beefiness of the strap. Not uncomfortable, but just adds more boldness to the overall look of the watch. I was really curious to know what the big time gang thinks of this watch. Obviously, uh, most of us that are tuned into my channel can never afford something like this. I'm not, I'm not gonna say never, but can't justify spending this much money on something like this so it's a treat for me to be able to, to see it handle it review it for you guys and show it to you because this is something that's out of a lot of our price range including myself you do have the parallel logo on the crown crown is kind of recessed too which is pretty cool you see the way it sits in there let's pull that out and feel the function very nice, very smooth, feels very good, easy to grip. Like I said, this is a push-pull crown, does not screw down. Overall, man, I think this watch is very cool. And like I said, very thankful to review it. Parallel. Turbine is the name of this watch. And this is something that I've seen like Aragon do with that, you know, kind of rotating dial where it spins back and forth like that. Very cool. And it's like an optical illusion where it looks like it's actually spinning when it's actually oscillating back and forth, almost like your balance wheel. Super cool. So, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the photos. And please drop a comment if you're watching this video and let me know what you think of this watch. I just want to know, do you own one? Do you know somebody that owns one? Have you owned one? Um, I've really never heard of this brand until I was uh, loaned this watch to review for you guys. And, uh, you know, I'm still learning as I'm going. So, you know, every time I experience a new watch, it's a learning process learning new brands. I'm constantly learning new brands. So uh, I'm not familiar. It doesn't mean uh, most of the watch collectors are familiar or not, but I want to know if you own it, let me know. If you know somebody that owns it, let me know. I just want to know what your takes are. And because uh, I think the watch is gorgeous. 
Um, I'll have Loom photos. Have a great day. And as always, God bless. Mm -hmm.